Hey, this is Jerry here from Cam Jam. Today we're going to take a look at the Peak Design Capture Lens. This just came out, it arrived in the mail about two hours ago. I was playing around with it. So today I'll give you a review and also the unboxing. I haven't taken it out in the field yet, so this is a very accurate review. It'll just be a quick one. So here we have the box that it came in. Well, obviously not this box, it came in a bigger brown box, but this is what's inside of it. Uh, I've already opened it up, so I repackaged it up so I can give you a look at what it looks like. You open up the flap here in the front, you can see the capture lens and also, this is not the Capture Pro, this is the Capture, which is just the basic version. Uh, the only difference is the, the back plate is actually made of plastic instead of aluminum. I believe it's aluminum. Uh, in the back here, it shows you an example of how to use the device. And also on the side here, it shows you what's in the packaging here. So opening it up. Here's the device itself. I've taken it out. It was a bit tough to take out initially, but I've already taken it out, so I'm just going to rip it out here a little bit. And here you are. This is the capture lens. It's a uh, plastic body. Uh, this, uh, this ring here is made of uh, metal, aluminum, or uh, similar to what's on your camera. Uh, this is the marking for where to align your lens. And sorry, I forgot to mention this is for the the Sony E-mount lenses. Um, since my last video, I've actually switched over to all Sony uh, systems, so I don't have any Canon lenses anymore. Uh, this portion of the capture lens uh, fits into your capture or your capture pro. Uh, and also to rotate it, you just pull out and rotate. Pull out, rotate. That's the capture lens here. This is the, the capture. Here we are, there's the capture. I already have a couple of these, um, so this is just extra. Also in the packaging here, we have a pouch. So here we have a cap which I believe is to cover the side that you don't use. Now, I'm not sure. Yeah. I believe this is to keep the capture lens clean while it's not being used. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, when I tested it out in, in the house, I didn't feel a need to use the cap. Actually, there's a, there's two lens cap, I guess, to cover both sides. So this is probably most likely uh, a storage solution just to keep the inside of these these uh, this capture lens clean so that when you mount the lens it doesn't get dust onto the the glass there um, although an interesting thing is uh, out of the packaging because of packaging there's a lot of dirt inside of here so you probably want to give it a clean before you use it we have one of these things I forgot what these are called from Peak Design I, I don't have many of these um, so yeah, this is to attach to your camera or to link it to stuff. Uh, most of the products can use these things. I forgot what they're called. I can probably read the manual and tell me what these are. And here you go, there's a, there's a quick guide inside. Uh, gives you information on how to use this thing. Oh, these are called anchors. Uh, there's different use cases. You can uh, mount it to your belt. Uh, you can mount it to a strap that's not included, or you can just put it onto anything like a backpack strap or anything like that. And there's two anchors. That's it inside the packaging. So next up, I'm gonna clean the inside of this uh, and then mount on some lenses, show you what it looks like. Actually, before I mount it, you probably want to see what this thing looks like close up. So here it is. Um, you know, it, the body is made of plastic. Uh, so is this uh, the part of the plate that attaches to your capture. Uh, metal here, the marking for where to align your lens. These are the, the buttons to release your lens. And there's a, there's a plastic separation inside that keeps two lenses, um, I guess, separate. So here we are, I'm going to show you how I use the capture lens. Uh, once again, when this product came out, I was very excited about this because uh, I shoot 
primarily in prime lenses um, as of switching to Sony system. So when I go for shoot or anything like that, I find it very tedious to switch between lenses. Uh, and this was the perfect solution for me. And I tried it out and I, I think it's great. Um, this is how I, I intend to use this product at least. Uh, here's my 55 1.8. Um, I'm gonna mount it onto the Capture Pro. So I'm just gonna take off the cap here. They'll leave that in the bag or something. Um, just mount it to one side. So here I have it. Here you go. It's on the Capture Pro. What I have here is the, sorry, Capture Lens was what I meant. Uh, here I have is the Capture Pro. Uh, this is actually for my camera, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use it for the Capture Lens. Um, yes, this is on the, the Peak Design Everyday Messenger Bag. So just going to mount it on here. Just clips on. Uh, because uh, because I'm using the Capture Lens on this Capture Pro right now, I'm just going to lock it. Uh, either with the 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 push button or the other side to lock it. Either way, it, it's not coming out. Um, and to go for a shoot, uh, obviously I would prepare this lens to be on the bottom side, uh, like so. So here I am. I'm ready to shoot. Uh, I bring my camera out with me. I got the uh, the 28 f2 on here. So I go out. I do my shoot. And when I'm ready to switch lens, I like to pocket my my caps. Uh, sorry, I think I did. Yeah. I like to pocket my caps, so I'm just going to pop the cap back on. Uh, and I've tried this earlier. I can do it with one hand. I can switch out the lens, align it here. Let me turn my body on here. And then just rotate it up. One hand, release the 55, and then mount it on. Cap in my pocket, and I'm good to go again. So to show that again, this is how we use it. Put the cap back on, unmount, mount it back on the capture, switch it over, and then back on. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna lower the camera so you can see this a little better. So I'm going to do the same thing at a bit of lower angle so you can see what's going on here. I got my unused lens here at the bottom side uh, of the capture lens. Here I am with the camera. Put the cap back on. Unmount from the camera. Switch it over. Take out my lens. Here we go. Ready to go again. So that's it. I, once again, this is a great solution for those shooting with multiple lenses on the go, uh, especially those who are shooting prime and trying to cover different like focal lengths. Uh, I myself probably won't be using a capture lens on this uh, particular Capture Pro I have here on the bag. I'll probably be mounting it on to my belt here on the left side or probably here on the right side or something. Uh, just because I do like to use the the slot in the Capture Pro for my camera uh, on the go just if I'm you know trying to fiddle with some, some lighting or with my subject, something like that, or get the tripod going. So I like to have multiple captures available for different mounting purposes. And that's it. I, I personally feel like it's a great product. I had to take it in the field, try it out, see what it's like, and uh, I'll probably give a more extensive review after that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.